causing, um, they said that, uh, I read somewhere that it took him four months to do the skeletons, the skeleton sequence, which is about three minutes of film. Yeah. And it took him four months, which is nowadays extraordinary. But back then, same word, extraordinary, different meaning, <laughs> right? Like, uh, so uh, it's pretty, uh, the, the, I mean, at the time, this was state of the art. This, these, these monsters were why people went to this film, correct? This was about the seeing the monsters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I was, I must admit, guys, I was very reluctant to watch this. In fact, I watched it today. Uh, I'm like, okay, I have to, I have to, I have to do it. You know, we're going to be talking about it. As, as much as Matthew was so excited about it, I was like, this is not my kind of thing. You know, like, what? A, and within two minutes, I'm all, this is incredible. Yeah. Like, I don't think I Jason had even arrived. Just the bits with the king talking to Zeus, and then he goes and kills the girl, you know, Jason's sister, when she's praying to Hera. And I'm like, oh, this is amazing, right? Yeah. Like, this is, this is really great. And the, the fact that he, I think what caught me was he said, why didn't Zeus tell me before I killed her? Like, he didn't want to kill her. And suddenly, he's not just this evil bad guy, right? And at that point, I'm like, oh, this is going to be good. Like, I wasn't for the monsters or any of this, but just from a character standpoint, I was just, oh, never mind. This is uh, this is going to be, and I wasn't I wasn't wrong. This is a this is a great movie. Yeah, I really, Jim, and I, Jim and I, we we thought, okay, we're going to have to watch like you. We're going to have to watch it before we do the Zoom thing because it's been a long time since we've seen that film, and as the day was going by okay what time is it okay we got to watch it now you know we were going to watch a colombo first and we thought no we got to watch this first so make sure we're done by six and i enjoy it when i saw the cast yeah, of characters it's a, it's a movie. the cast of the actors in here i mean they're the english actors are good actors and uh when i saw that list of actors i thought okay hey this is going to be fun and it was a fun entertaining film and i like yeah. this country, but i agree yeah. very hairy yeah yeah I, I like those guys' special effects more than the computer graphics. Yeah. I prefer Ray Harryhausen over oh, yeah. over all this superhero uh, computer graphic stuff. Yeah. Right. Something about um, the, that those skeletons and those creatures were really made on some level. I, you know, everybody recognizes that they weren't on set fighting life-size skeletons, but the fact that they were real in some way and hand moved and they have personality and you know the skeletons were angry you know, up out of the ground and and uh like to me that still carries so much weight that was one of the scenes i wasn't born when uh jason and the argonauts came out but it must have been on pbs um or something like that and that skeleton scene came up and i knew i wanted like to go into movies i knew i wanted to uh, go on vacation. I knew I wanted to dive into, you know, um, mythology and stuff like that. Like it was, to me, it was one of those like fundamental DNA change in my in my brain. Like that is the coolest thing. And now in rewatching it, you see how close they are to, you know, the the actual mythology. They changed a few things that they had to to kind of shorten up the story. But they stuck they stuck with the golden fleece tale pretty pretty uh, faithfully. And I love the Achilles. Oh, go go ahead, Tom. Okay, I, I really like the scene with Patrick Throton, or how you pronounce his name. He played the blind man uh, and the harpies. You know, mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed that. When I was in Turkey, I didn't quite get to the place, but it was a long... I was up in part of the, by the Black Sea, but then a ways away, uh, there's a place called Port Y-A-S-O-N, but it's, they call it Port Jason. And they said that's where Jason and the Argonauts... Uh, Supposedly went by that area, sailed by that area on the way to get the Golden Fleece or whatever. And wow. so if I ever go back to Turkey, I would like to make my way up there. There's an old lighthouse. Uh, I saw a picture of it on the Internet today. There's an old lighthouse there overlooking the sea that uh, is a spot. It marks a spot. I, in that scene where the, the blind man is being pestered by the harpies forever, um, and Jason and his team have a clever, it's almost like a, Ocean's Eleven's type plan to uh, <laughs> yeah. capture the harpies and really have kind of a just turn. You know, it, they didn't just kill them off; like they switched the the order of power. They gave the blind man the power over the harpies, um, 
it established Jason and his team as the good guys. And finally, you're like, okay, they're going to come together. And when they see something unjust, they're going to go ahead and fix it. So he's not just there for the Golden Fleece just to, you know, reclaim the throne or something. And to me, it felt like, okay, that was the bonding moment where you're like, they're a team, you know. Um, and the blind man was so tickled with his new cage of harpies and all that stuff. It was great. I swear for the first five minutes of that scene, I thought it was Martin Landau. <laughs> <laughs> this like Martin Landau's in this? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see, I make constant mistakes all the time. I have no idea why I have a job or anything. I don't I don't know. But Matthew, you were saying that um, the skeletons, when I saw the skeleton scene, I knowing you now as an adult, I was like, oh, this was this is this this was Matthew's as as a kid, this was what Matthew saw and said, this is what I want to do. Because there's so much of your work over the years that I've seen that is so influenced by this kind of thing that I, I was just, oh, yeah, yeah, this, it made perfect sense to me. That, that's why you lit up. What, Jason the Argonauts? You know, I, I, again, I'm that, you know, 10 year old boy again, when even just talking, I have chills right now, even talking about it. Like, yeah, it was one of those things that set the course for, you know, prop making you know, um, working in television, you know, working in movies, just like wanting to um, create that. I mean, they always, it's, it's a cliche, but that magic, right? That like, this didn't exist and now it does, you know? Um, oh, it's, it's exciting. Um, there's a couple things I wanted to mention. Um, Honor Blackman is in this as Hera and was so good. And it made me realize that, you know, she's so well known for the Bond film, uh, The Goldfinger, um, that, I don't think I've seen her in something else, uh, honestly. And I, I, I think I'm going to have to research that. Um, but I just thought she was so good at that role. You know, loving but devious and and trying to, um, you know, that bit towards the end where she said, see, I am a worthy adversary. Like, like stand up for herself, right? Um, I just thought that was so neat. She was so good at that part. Yeah. Uh, we, we saw her something else the other day it must have been a colombo because we've been watching a lot of colombos mm -hmm. and she did a really good job in that one too yeah and then the only other thing i have and the only reason i'm saying this is because i love when they put <laughs> the cool stuff up in the corner so i know up in the corner as i say this these graphics are gonna go these graphics are gonna go um the guy who played zeus neil mcginnis no, yeah, no, yeah 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 looks exactly like Neil Ray, who I know you all know is the biggest casting director in New Zealand. But Neil Ray, and the fact that they have the same first name, Neil McGinnis, it, I, I was like, is it, are they related? Is it his dad? <laughs> <laughs> so when you see the two Neils in the corner, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, for everyone at home, uh, I, I was kidding. I know you don't know that Neil, Neil Ray is the biggest casting director of New Zealand. But I do. <laughs> And when I saw the guy, I was like, that's Neil Ray. <laughs> now, now, now McGinnis has a long career. Uh, one of my favorite films with him, what's it called? The one no, it's Nail. Oh, hold on. It's, it, Tom, the pronunciation for him is Nail or? I'm not sure oh, it's Nail or Neil. I, I'm not sure. N-I-A-L-L. -L. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Okay, yeah. Because their name's was called but I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of that one film with Dana Andrews? Uh, Curse of the Demon or oh, Curse of the uh, Demon. also known as Night of the Demon. Yeah, it's one of, he has a really good part in there too. He, he's, he's a the good, villain, yeah. Yeah, he's the villain in that piece. He's a good actor. Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Very cool. Another thing I like, Matthew touched upon about the mythology. Um, I like where mythology and reality is a very thin line, and uh, pass, I think it crosses over quite often when you go into places like Greece or Turkey or India or those places. Uh, there's a very thin line between what is fact and what is legend. Mm -hmm. 